Discover free shower in Taipei Airport. Experience seven fresh cooked dishes in two lunches and Michelin Green Star on board. I am Tree Papa, a travel enthusiast and proud father of three. Discover family friendly spots and tips for making the most of your travels. Join me, let's explore together. Good morning, Taipei. Another business trip begins as I fly to Oman with a transit in Bangkok, carrying loads of luggage this time. The airport is bustling with excitement as travelers embark on their journeys. Today, I will be flying China Airlines business class from Taipei International Airport Terminal 1. Keep an eye out for the bright red sky priority signs. Let's check in our luggage and head to Thailand. Hello, today I'm flying from Taipei to Bangkok through China Airlines. So I got plenty of luggages here. China Airlines is one of the Taiwanese home-based airline companies. There's a dedicated business check-in area in place. Once we've checked in our luggage, we need to proceed to the upper floor for passport control and security checks. There's no Starbucks inside Terminal 1 in control area. So if you are craving for a branded sandwich, this is your last chance. Business class passenger has no priority here. However, as an APEC car holder, I can conveniently use a priority lane. After the passport control, it's time to head to the lounges. Follow the signs and with less than one minute walk. If you don't want to walk stairs, just take this. Okay, let's take a look at the map. I can use China Airlines Lounge here and there's another China Airlines Lounge here. Let's take a look what's the difference. There's those two Plaza Premium Lounges. Very interesting. Let's take a look. Plaza Premium Lounge. I think I can give a try by using credit card. This is a travel hack. There's a free shower over here. And this is actually not really the lounge. It's probably more like resting area. Firstly, let's discover where travelers can enjoy a free shower at Taipei Airport. The free lounge offers comfortable seating. And I find out from the staff that I can freely enter the shower room if it's available. There's a shower room here, there's no reservation required. It's empty, you can use directly. Okay, we are at shower room one. So let's take a look at the free shower facility here in Taipei. We have a nice mirror. The mirror here with a toilet and the sink with a soap. Hand wash soap, I guess. No amenity kits here. And let's take a look at the shower space. Got the shower. They even provide free soap and shampoo. However, if you need additional amenities like towels, you just need to purchase from the Plaza Premium Lounge next door. Since I don't need a shower today, let's take a stroll. The trendy Starlux lounge is located nearby and I will explore it on another occasion. Initially, I thought there were two China airline lounges, but it turns out only one is operational. Let's take a close look at the China airline lounge. As usual, I'd like to check Google reviews. With a rating of 4.3 and 813 reviews, it seems promising. Big Home rated 5 stars, praising its excellence. Daniel gives it 4 stars, mentioning potential for improvement. YL awards it 5 stars for its great shower facilities. 
upon entering and immediately fell in love with the elegant and premium design. The lounge features sleeping rooms and nursing rooms. The business class lounge area is beautifully decorated, creating a comfortable atmosphere. The buffet area offers a selection of bread, alcoholic and soft beverages. Soup, salad, and high quality hot dishes. Such as fried vegetables, fried noodles, Taiwanese sausage, and stir fried meat. They even provide street food snacks and options for vegetarians. However, the highlight of lunch is the Chinese noodle bar. Today, I tried all four types of noodles and will be sharing them with you. Starting from the right, the first option is a vegetarian noodle with beyond meat made from mushrooms and beans. It tastes like real meat when combined with the soup, but the noodles themselves were just average. Next is the signature Taiwanese beef noodle soup, which is my favorite. It offers a generous portion of tender beef, favorable broth, and green vegetables. The other two options feature the same ingredients, pork, green vegetables, and a small egg. You can choose whether to have them with hot soup or without. I finished all four bowls of noodles and felt incredibly satisfied. My top recommendation is the beef noodle soup with fewer noodles. Now let's head to the Plaza Premium Lounge next door. With a Google rating of 3.9 and 214 reviews, the Plaza Premium Lounge has mixed feedback. Ryan gives it one star, complaining about the lack of good food, mineral water, and the limited access to the toilet. Harry rates it 3 stars, mentioning that the lounge at gate C is temporarily closed, but the one at gate D is not far. Gaurav rates it 4 stars, appreciating the nice lounge and decent food. As we enter, we find a cozy seating area with limited number of seats. There are private cubes that provide a small private space Perfect for solo travelers. Hidden inside the buffet area, there's a spacious inner area with ample seating for your comfort. So here is the entrance. The space is not so big, and this is the dining area. We got the soup here. Kind of porridge. Drinking bars right here. I want be over here. Got orange juice, some snacks, some kind of wine. The buffet offers a variety of salads and Taiwanese cold appetizers. On the other side, you will find both Taiwanese and Western hot dishes. However, the key to this lunch is the option to order dishes on demand. I tried all the available options and shared my experience. I discovered a small cube with reading light and power sockets. A sparkling oolong drink was something special. Today I indulged in three dishes made to order, accompanied by an apple. First, one of my favorite was famous street food, pork rice. He had perfect cooked pork with flavorful combination of fats. Next, I tried the vegetarian noodle, and to my surprise, the sauce was made with a famous Taiwanese instant noodle brand called Wei Li. This simple dish turned out to be delicious. Lastly, the Taiwanese-style crispy pork rib noodle, which had deep-fried ribs and clear soup. I finished all the meal and feel incredibly full. 
What's your favorite dish in these two lounges? Let me know the comment below. After touring the lounges, it's time to head to the gate. Taipei Airport Terminal 1 may be a bit dated, but it is well maintained and quite clean. Interesting, this door leads to the view of the waiting lounges only. Today we will be departing from gate 7 and the business class cabin is completely full. The A330-300 aircraft will take us to Bangkok with a seating configuration of 222. If you want to know more about the bulkhead business class seat in this aircraft, kindly check out my other video. This business class seat may not be the most luxurious in the world, but it's comfortable enough, accompanied by pillow and blanket. Since this is an old aircraft, the display is relatively small and compared to the latest products. There's a small document pocket in the front and a coke hook available. After boarding, we are welcomed with a dragon fruit juice and hot towels. Settling with the pillow in a comfortable position as we get ready to enjoy the journey. Please enjoy the amazing engine sound after this aircraft landing. have a seat review. The middle armrest comes with a small but sturdy table whose purpose I'm not entirely sure. Below the seat control area you will find a headset jack and remote control which allows you to adjust various settings including the overhead light. There's also a white reading light available for your extra brightness. Below the middle of the seating, you will find a power socket. However, please note that's not universal power type and may not support UK plugs. For faster charging, I recommend using a USB-C adapter. You can easily charge your mobile phone with 18 watts. There are additional small storage areas in front of you. The blanket is comfortable and soft enough for your journey. Headset is working fine, but not my favorite, maybe because of the color. As usual, you will find some safety cards and shopping magazines. The dining table is hidden in the armrest, a piece of sturdy furniture on board. Partition in between has a mirror, which is a nice touch. The slippers are available upon request, and they are the one of the best quality slippers in the air. 
after the table closed and the snack delivered. I order a glass of whiskey and get ready for my Michelin Green Star meal today. Since this is a mid hall flight, the meal comes all in one go, but it's a bit different from the spirit of Michelin. The main dish contains bamboo and different mushrooms with vegetables. Fruits and salad have been delivered with metal tableware. I took a look at my seamate and I couldn't feel much difference in terms of the presentation for Michelin or not. However, I found some details in the salad. They are actually a combination of small arts, but without proper display, people may miss it. The main course tastes better than the regular China Airlines business class meal. I feel like having a big Chinese meal cooked by a senior chef. Finally, someone laid back tea with chocolate cake for the perfect ending. I feel very full indeed, outstanding taste, but I hope it can be presented better. The beautiful painting is on the way to the loo. Let's take a look. There's a coat hook, a big mirror, an accessible handle, lighting in the mirror, tissues, soap, perfume, and lotion. It's good to have toilet cover paper. Overall, it's quite clean, even though it's full today. After the loo review, it's time to adjust the headrest and recline the seat to the sleeping position. There's a foot pedal for extra recline design. Let's switch to sleeping mode. But I find out that if you have a carry-on backpack, you don't have any space to store your bag near you. You'll need to put in the overhead compartment. If so, I would prefer a bulkhead seat. Before going to sleep, I just find out there's another small table hidden inside. Time flies, and now we are approaching Bangkok, Thailand. After a black coffee and changing the SIM card that I bought from Klook, make sure your seat belt is fastened. We are landing now. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification for my weekly release. Welcome to Bangkok, Thailand. Did you know that BKK Airport has the most number of lounges among all the airports in the world? Well, stay tuned with me for my next video, where I will be going to a lunch run for the top 3 rated lounge in BKK including Coral Finest Business Lunch, Miracle Lunch, and Omen Air Business Class Lunch. Choose the one you like the best. See you in my next video.